How you doing, folks? My gaming addiction is back, and today, tonight, what was supposed to be uh, a night for drinking and playing uh, some video games, um, it's going to turn into a, a repair. As you can see, I've got two Sega 32 times here. One is working right now with no problems. Um, this one right here, though, uh, keeps having some issues. It keeps um, freezing. It keeps um, just getting black screens. This is a very common issue um, with these um, uh, kinds of consoles because... Uh, uh, the corrosion that goes on them and whatnot. So I'm going to show you guys how to clean them up. Um, first, I'm going to use a 3.0 millimeter screwdriver, which is a Phillips head, and I'm going to take these off. So there goes the faceplate, and there goes the screws, ah, right there. Keep these right here to the side. And uh, right after that, here comes the heat shield that you have to remove. Yet again, you can still use your same screwdriver, and just remove the heat shield. See if these are coming off. Yes, they are. Okay. Obviously, keep your screws in different uh, areas so you don't get them mixed up. Um, okay. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten screws to remove. Get that out of the way. Okay, well, let's come out. Oh, this fucking screw's being a pain in the ass. Oh, there you go, it's out. Out. And that's out. And there goes the heat shield. Now, I'm gonna grab a card. You're gonna need possibly like a, something that's a flat surface, uh, like a card of some sort. I'm gonna use this. Um, yeah, might as well. I'm going to use this gift card that I'm getting because you need to clean this right here. This one's needs to, the first thing that you need to clean up with. So you're going to grab your brass so that's the first thing, one of the first things you're going to need. And you're also going to need 50-50 um, isopropyl and uh, water mixed in. And uh, you're basically just going to take your rag, put some brass on it, not too much. You don't want to go crazy with it. Take your a uh, flat surface, a card or whatever you want to use, and then just get in, right like so, into the pins. Because these pins are really corroded, as you can see right here, if you can see the blackness, I can, but they get really corroded and really dirty, and uh, it's just disgusting. It's a very simple, easy way to clean it, and uh, Should take a lot of the stuff off. Be careful not to get any of that stuff onto um, the motherboard or anything because that could fry it. Now, what you want to do is grab your card again. Make sure you get a good clean uh, set of the cloth. And uh, this is a 100% cotton shirt that I'm using, so it doesn't leave any static uh, electricity or anything like that. But uh, clean it like so. And that works just fine. Um, as you can see, lots of corrosion came off of that. That's one of the main reasons why the problems uh, end up enduring. Now, this is where you're going to grab your 50-50 isopropylene alcohol and uh, water. And uh, you're going to do the same thing I just did, 
with the uh, brasso and you're gonna stick that in there like so you're gonna remove all the brasso that's in there brasso has a shine to it and if you leave it long on, on long enough it will um, it will have a corrosion effect it will leave a corrosion in there so don't uh, don't uh, put uh, just straight up brass so there's a trick to it like I just showed you now dry it up and that should be good now leave that to dry for a bit the other thing that you need to look at is this right here these two ribbons cables right here these two ribbon cables have lots of corrosion see that I don't know if you can see that in the light but there's a, quite a bit of corrosion on there so grab your uh, the part where you had uh, the brass on and just start cleaning the corrosion tips like so oh, shit. As you can see, there's all the corrosion that comes off it. I'm going to put some new brass on there. I'm going to find a new area for this rag because it's been used multiple times. There you go. And you're just going to clean that off. As you look at all that corrosion that just came off of there. Look at all that. That's one of the main problems with this system. That's what uh, one of the main problems that uh, affects it is the corrosion and all the, the stuff that gets built up. So basically, I'm just going to clean that like so. You're going to grab some isopropyl water, not too much, and you're going to clean that too. Then you're going to take the dry side of your rag and, uh, Dry that off, take all that shit off, and put it back the way you found it. So it's like this this black part right here stays with this black part right there. And the white part goes down here. Be careful with these ribbons, don't just yank on them, don't uh don't uh just be careful when you're playing with them because uh they're really fragile. Oh come on. And it's in there. Oh, I had it upside down. Not the other way. Sorry, this part's supposed to go like this. If you look at the other one, go, this part goes in here, like so. Okay. Oh, wow, it's going to be a pain in the ass to get in. All right. So then you remove the other one. And you do the same thing that I showed you before. Grab your, uh, grab, take the brasso side, clean the uh, gunk off. Uh, where the silver part is right there that's where you're supposed to clean and uh, then take your 50-50 uh, clean that off too get rid of whatever is on there clean that off like so And then let's re-stick it back on. So basically you're gonna take this part right here and pull it to the bottom. Then you're gonna stick it down there. And now you could take the motherboard. You can either take this part, the, the, you can take the screws off here and take this piece right off and open it up and clean right here or you can take con swabs which I think is just a much simpler way and just clean underneath here like so and that's exactly what I want to do right now because it's just it's a much easier way uh, just take this off put the axis on 
and look at all that corrosion right there gentlemen and ladies look at all that stuff look at all that build up right there Look at all that build up. That's what causes this thing to freeze on a constant day to day basis. Right there. And you can literally keep doing this for hours, but I don't recommend it to be quite honest because you'll be there probably forever. So that's basically all the stuff that's coming off. All that junk. And um, now what we're going to do is we're going to grab some isopropylene. Alcohol 50 50 uh, water and uh, isopropyl, and uh, we're just gonna put that on there like so. Sit that in, go over it. Now, also, one of the things that I want to mention to you guys is that keep your games clean while you're doing this. Um, if you clean your system, if you clean the 32 times up and you don't keep your games clean, well, then what's going to happen is you're going to get a lot more freezes. Things are going to freeze, and you're you're basically doing this for nothing. So keep your games clean too. So we're done for that part right now, and we're going to go and hook this up and see if Carnage uh, works on it. Turn on the TV. Have it have it sitting on your system like that, but don't touch anything uh, electrical, or you'll just fry the system. And there you go, voila. Let's just see if the game actually responds, and it does. There it goes. And that's it guys, so basically the system works, the game's been cleaned, and it works perfect now. No more freezes, no more nothing, and as you can see I'm not really good at Cosmic Carnage, so I'm going to turn this off and save myself the embarrassment. But, um, that's it, I mean, thank you very much for watching, and, oh, okay.